Alright, so I went ahead and I got some molten bars. I don't know. Um, we have the armor now, too. So now we have the pickaxe. And we actually have a summon weapon now. I can go there. How many bones do we have? 39. So today we're probably just going to grind in the dungeon. Do we actually need to though? So I feel like we can defeat Wall of Flesh like this kind of. Oh, wait, we have multiple summons. I feel like we can beat Wall of Flesh if we just have a good, um, thingy. Yeah, I made this. It took, oh, way too long to make. But at least now we have this. I just didn't place any torches down. Oh, shoot. Wait, life crystal. Is that a um, thingy on the night vision or something? I don't know. So now I just have to go ahead and place a ton of torches down. It's annoying. I'm just going to ignore the chests. So I haven't even looted them, but I don't really need to loot them. and then I actually don't take fall damage which I forgot about I go over here I have okay mine speed with some mining potions and then um mining pants and the um pickaxe I had before we upgraded it all right so now we're at the underworld that um our mobility sucks so wait we don't take damage we have this no okay so yeah i'm just gonna edit this stuff out so you don't have to watch this because this is really annoying and it takes a long time now we have it's not too big but eh, let's just go we don't have any potions okay use that side Attacketh. I also got an obsidian rose, so I get like 20, only 20 damage from lava instead of like 60. Okay. I believe in my dodging skills, which are very non existent, and we're actually dealing really good damage. No, oh, that heart, I missed it. I want them to be attacking the um, actual eyes and not the mouth because it does way less damage if it hits the eyes. I can tell them which ones to focus on too with the um, whip. Oh god. Alright, potion. I uh, like full healthish. Okay, they're already at half. The arena isn't too big though, honestly. Um, I should also probably be attacking them, though. Okay, yeah, we got this. And then there's a little drop there. Alright, yeah, no, we got this. Oh, shoot, I fell off. I fell off. That could have been very bad. Alright, that was easy. I think this is part four, too. I think, like, in every single Let's Play so far, we've, um... Beat the wall flesh out like the fourth episode. Your garbage. Garbage too. Garbage. Stupid guide. Won't move into his new house. Oh. Oh wait, that's not anything. It looked red, so I thought it was like um something. I don't know. We're just gonna fall now. 
Uh, At least we can get a new armor set now. And summoning weapons and stuff. Except it's spider stuff. So. We gotta fight spiders. Do I have any battle potions? No. It's just too small. I think there's another one down there. Oh. Oh, corruption. Okay. One down here. No, uh, no. Nah. I can already hear stuff dying. Just gotta move down there now. No spiders. Should have some increased spawn rates in here now. 350 health each, so they have a lot of health then too. We don't deal any damage. Jeez. Actually, I don't want to. I'll save her after we fight this. Do not get hit a single time, or we might die. Just after one hit. It's like crawling backwards for some reason. And they're everywhere. Why was there a demon up here, bro? Let's fall down. Hey, you can attack this guy, please. Minions. Oh god. <laughs> Die, please. Uh-huh, you can't go up here. Spider fangs. Uh-oh. I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> Die. We might die to a little off of damage. No. <sighs> Bruh. I did think I'd finally move down. All right. to grab those all right the guy finally moved in and we grabbed some spider fangs we need way more though so that's gonna be our next armor set and our next weapon like for pretty long so then that's gonna carry us through all the way to plantera then after plantera we get oh this guy after Plant Terror, then we get um the Pygmy Staff, which we'll use. And then there's something else, which I forget what it is. Um, But the guide moved into his house now, so we're just going to go down there and grab some stuff. And then there's also another spider frame down here. And I found the soul, or I found the, um, hollow biome and corruption biome already. And I got a couple souls, and I found her, too. I don't really care, though. Yeah. Bruh. 
Oh. Alright, now we're down here. Man, we're gonna fight him again. <laughs> Wait, I don't even have my minions. Um, actually, before we fight it, let's grab the Soul of Night in case we die. And might despawn. Alright. So basically, I'm just gonna. Bye. Hopefully. Which way is it gonna summon him? Uh oh. Oh shoot. This is bad now, actually. Can they attack, please? Attacketh. Oh, look, a Soul of Night. What is the bone serpent doing here? We're fighting a boss. We're doing stuff. Oh, this is really bad actually. How do we get past this? We're not, obviously. I have any potions I don't know. At least we got the, um, summon thingy. Oh, we're so dead. It had to just summon him on the wrong side. Of course it did. Hi, please get some hearts. Let me go out and break these. Try and get some hearts. Okay, I got some hearts. It worked. Alright, we're at full health. That might be the only way we can survive. This is so close. Bro. We're almost already dead now, too. I like, just had to summon him on the wrong side. This is just gonna see if we can actually mine stuff fast enough. And deal good damage. There's ginormous lava pools here, which there isn't really on the other side, but there's a ton here. At least we have the mining potion, which should save us some health and time, hopefully. And we'd be dead already if it wasn't for that obsidian rose. Of course, I get sunlock there. Of course it just has to spawn it in the one direction that it shouldn't. Like, why does it have to spawn it there? So, bye, I guess.